What's up guys, Steve again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7, check out this. This is the new turbo fan engine from Tishing. This one's got a thousand parts made out of alloy, stainless steel plastic, and it's also powered. Uh, these things are awesome, I've done a few of these. Check out, I think I've done a few of them anyway. Check out the links if you want. Check out the links for this down below, it is awesome. Look at that, it's got a whole like little control, like a test stand thing. Pretty sweet, over a thousand pieces. Let's have a look and see what you get. Really nice packaging, by the way. And these things, they're not cheap, but they are good quality as well, that's for sure. There we go, look at that. Look at the manual. It's like a proper book. Nice instructions. You don't need to download anything. A nice, I want to say hardcover, but a very nice English instruction manual. Easy to follow. Really, really good. With these too, while I'm here, these things are awesome. Of, uh, I think I've done a video on this, so I'll leave the link. Electric screwdriver, especially for these, we've got so many little screws, you definitely need it. But look at this, look at the presentation. Wow, so many parts. Look at the blades. So these are going to be all the blades, all the parts of the uh, internals of the jet engine there as well. Really sweet, nice. A box there for all your hardware. Look at that. Pretty sweet. I know this is an RC channel, but a lot of you guys like models as well, so do I. Put that down there, look at this. The next layer. You can hear they're all like cast aluminium. What else we got here? Oh, look at these, more stuff. Another layer here, you can see all the blades. There's your electric motor there as well, just because it's obviously a little model you can use. All parts. Another plastic container of screws. Little control set here, look, it's actually like a throttle up. Sweet. There's a comes of tools. That's awesome. Look at this. Full set of tools. Of our drivers. That's, I haven't seen that before. I'm not going to go through everything. What do we have here? Huge. Uh, look at that. So, I'm not going to open everything up and show you one by one. I'll put it together like I always do, and then at the end, uh, We'll show how it looks and see how it works. That's impressive. There we go, guys. All done. Check it out. It looks awesome. And like I said in the beginning, majority of this is all metal. All the castings, everything are metal. There's hardly any plastic in this engine at all. So it is a turbofan engine, like I said. It's over a thousand pieces. And if you're interested, the links are down below. But as a display piece, it looks awesome. And as you can see, it is pretty big. I don't have a banana for scale, but as you can see, got quite large hands and it is very big. If you're an uh, aviation enthusiast, people that just loves turbines or engines or jet engines or anything like that, you would definitely love this. Now, I had no issues building this kit. There are a lot of screws, as you can see, screws and bolts. Um, and, you know, just got to make sure you put everything in the correct order. But so far, I had no issues putting this together at all. Like I said, the instructions are really easy to follow. And what I do appreciate is the instruction manual is actually a book, uh, easy to read, and the pictures are excellent and in you know, easy to follow uh, order. No issues there at all. And like I said, it, can, it tells you how to put it together, obviously, and also how to take it apart quite efficiently as well. As you can see down here, you have like a little on and off button here for the sound. I'll show you in a second how it all works. This cool little throttle and an on and off switch there as well. Now the whole turb, turbo and uh, turbo fan is held on 
by four lug nuts or wing nuts, you can sorry, wing nuts, you can say one, two, three, and four just down here. And just sits in there really, really. <laughs> this thing, I think it weighs like eight kilos or something. It's freaking ridiculous. I don't think people realize that it's all metal. But I'll show you how it works. This one here, this button is just a simulation sound. So if you just push this, turn it on. You can hear it there. And it just kind of goes in like a loop. You don't have to have any down there at all if you don't want. But that's just like on the slowest speed it goes. It has ball bearings throughout. That crunching noise or the grinding, it's not that actually grinding, it's just some of the fans, they kind of like loosely fit together even when it's clamped. Like that, and you can also throttle it up. Pretty cool. Nice, nice. It's actually got a little bit of a breeze. You can feel it producing a little bit of a breeze at, at full tilt. But yeah, like I said, I highly recommend it. If anyone loves a good display model, it looks great. And like I said, if you put the volume on and sync it, it'll give you that. Uh, simulation of you ramp, ramping up the engine itself and the volume increased as well. Okay. Sweet. All right, guys. I can't uh, rate this highly enough. I think it's fantastic. I'll be doing some more of these on the channel. Let me know what you guys think. Look at that. Like I said, there's no... It's just the blades that are a little bit loose when they're together. No real grinding, everything loose really smoothly. You shut it off. You can see there, it runs really nice. It's just the tolerance in between those. But apart from that, it's great. All right, guys, hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.